Burr. Did you ever wonder who came up with the idea to bring ice skating to Hawaii? Or what it takes to maintain an ice rink of this size? Well, we did, so we went right to the source to find out more about the Ice Palace at Stadium Mall. I came over in 1982, and uh, I worked for five or six, seven years here uh, in the real estate market. And this project was really a real estate project at the time, combining uh, a sports facility with a small neighborhood shopping center. So we uh, picked an ice rink as an anchor um, tenant here. And so that started a long six year adventure of learning everything there was about ice skating. I don't have an ice skating uh, background other than I skated as a kid growing up in Portland, Oregon. We hired a PR company uh, back then in 1980 about and we told them uh, about the project and uh, they uh, decided that we should do a survey. So we went to uh, Alma Moana Shopping Center, interviewed people there, and the uh, overall sentiment at the time was, yeah, we think it would work. Well, it's like an ice box. Uh, it's well insulated building. The, uh, this is about 15,000 square foot of ice, and the average temperature of the surface of the ice is about 18 degrees. And that 18 degrees, the, the radiation that we get off of that is enough to cool this building and keep it at about uh, 60 degrees. My name is Kareem Beck. I am a manager here at the Ice Palace. I've been working here forever, so about 30 plus years. And I do a little bit of everything, so it's just a fun place to be. What I really enjoy about the job, first of all, is my boss. He's a great guy to work for. But then on top of that, we meet the best people ever. Skate school people who learn to skate when they're just itty bitty little girls and they grow up to be wonderful skaters. Hockey players that are just hockey players. I'm not gonna say any more than that. And just the general public, it never gets boring. The ice rink itself is 185 feet by 87 and a half feet. We have about 10 miles of copper piping under the ice. It runs the antifreeze through it so that way it keeps everything cold. Parts of the ice are as thin as about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and we have some areas that are a little thicker between two and three inches. We are on sand so obviously nothing is level especially here in Hawaii our ground moves and we have a lot of movement under our ice at times depending on the weather outside. Not too long ago someone asked when was the last time or if we ever defrosted the ice because mainland rinks defrost every year. We've done it once and it was a chore after a week of trying to get the ice to melt on its own, we were in here with wheelbarrows and choppers, taking out chunks of ice and dumping it outside because it refused to melt. And we decided to melt the ice because we thought we had an antifreeze leak under one of the wells. So after we got everything out, we had to take paper towels and lay it under every single weld of 10 miles of piping. And we found out the leak wasn't even under the ice. It was actually off to the side, off the ice surface itself. So yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> Being here 30 years, we've met a lot of skaters, professional skaters, gold medal skaters. And I think we even met Christy before her gold medal. She did her Aloha Soyu commercial here in the building. And we had to black out the entire building. No light whatsoever. Everything had to be blacked out. But I will tell you, the best thing about that event, her parents. They were hilarious. Her dad was down to earth and made us all feel comfortable, and Christy was just like them, and it was just a lot of fun. 